Hey guys, this is Ben for Slash Gear. Today we're going to be taking a look at the HTC One V. This is uh, HTC's budget offering in the One line. If you remember at MWC, they said they're going to simplify the range. This is the budget offering. Uh, the middle of the road is the One S, and the top of the line is the One X. We've already reviewed both of those, so go ahead and check those out. Uh, the One V, meanwhile, is very modest in its specs. It has a 3.7 inch screen with an 800 by 480 resolution, 1 gigahertz single core processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 4 gigabytes of storage. Uh, the design is a unibody aluminium, and it's also got that chin, if you remember, from the HTC Legend. Although on the Legend, uh, the chin had the trackpad in the middle of it as well, but HTC have decided to kind of ditch that, and instead they've gone for the free capacitive buttons that you'll find on the S and the X as well. Uh, going around the device, on the side you'll find micro USB, on the top you'll find the power button and the 3.5mm headphone jack, on the side you've got the volume rocker, and on the bottom of the device you'll just find uh, the microphone hole. Don't put a pin in that, by the way. It's not the SIM card slot. Uh, the back does pop off, I'll show you in a second. 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash, and also the Beats Audio branding on the bottom as well as the speaker grill. So if we go ahead and pop off um, the, bottom, the bottom, you'll find the SIM card slot and micro SD slot as well. Um, the device only comes with 4GB of storage, so we recommend that you pop a micro SD card in there straight away. Let's go ahead and put the cover back on. Relatively simple to do. And then let's go ahead and power on the device. Uh, HTC didn't send us retail, retail packaging, so no point showing you the very spot and box they gave us. So as you'll see, it's very similar to the Sense 4.0 you've already seen on the S and the X. You can drag those uh, quick icons into the ring and load them straight up from the lock screen. I'm not going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to jump straight in. Other than that, it's very similar uh, to Sense 4.0 already, um, HTC haven't, it's not that much different. They have paired back a couple of things, uh, probably because it is a weaker processor and a weaker GPU. So if we try and pinch out, normally you would get the seven home screens, uh, but HTC seems to have disabled that for whatever reason. I'm guessing graphical capabilities. Uh, also, if you click on a folder, normally that would open very smoothly and very fluidly, but instead it just pops uh, straight open on the V instead. Again, possibly down to graphics and the horsepower. Um, other, otherwise it is just Sense 4.0 that you've seen on the X and the S already. Uh, not much different. You'll get the same uh, features. Um, I can only imagine they've paired, paired back some of those, uh, those graphics issues because it is a weaker Snapdragon processor. Not exactly sure which type, but it's only a gigahertz and a single core. Uh, so other than that, I mean, that's really about it. Let's just go ahead and dive into the settings, though, and give you a quick look about, and then hardware information. And then you can see, again, single core processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, 3.7 inch display, 5 megapixel camera, Wi-Fi, you get BGNN, and also you get Bluetooth 4.0, which is quite nice. Uh, in terms of software, again, it's Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3 and HTC Sense 4.0. Uh, that's pretty much it for the device though. Uh, we're going to be taking a closer look at this over the next couple of days and we're going to be bringing you a full review uh, when we've had enough time to play with the device. But until then, um, check out the pictures we've taken as well as the One X and One S review. Until then.